reason I was, sorry, poking fun about, you know, he's worse than Hitler. First of all, I don't think he is. And that has been used on everybody right now, right? He is a fascist. But if Democrats really thought that he were as dangerous as I think he is, they would not be running Joe Biden. And they would not have propped him up and fight for him. I would, I think you're, I think you're giving the Democrats a little too much credit. Yeah. Because <laughs> you know, I've Don't watched this unfold for 40 years. And I can tell you, this has been 40 years of creeping authoritarianism yes. in both parties. Yeah. Okay. And when it, and where it hasn't been actively in, engaged in by the Democratic Party, it's been deferentially engaged yeah. in by the Democratic Party. Yeah. And the fact that, for example, it look, what a surprise. The Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. Wait a minute. We could have legislated this somewhere along the way. With Obama, who ran on that. Yeah. In the wait a minute. The days. Voting Rights Act has basically been gutted. Whoa, you know? I mean, uh, and by the way, in Obama, the first two years is, a, is the prime example. But also the fact is that if they wanted to, look, there were vehicles by which Biden in the first several weeks, few months, 100%. could have, I mean, executive orders are very effective. Let me give you a prime example of an executive order. All he had to remember, you remember the railway workers? This is where the power is, Harvey. These are who, this is, this is who we want because that's who's in the way of us having a 50. I want, if she's strong enough to block a $15 minimum wage, then she should be on our ticket. It's that whole the green, the green Lantern theory, right? That the, the pod safe boys are always like, what do you want him to do? I don't know. He just bypassed 26 environmental laws to help build Trump's yes. wall. He just bypassed Congress to send more arms to Israel to commit their genocide. Like he has no problem bypassing the, you know, the rules and regulations when he wants. Okay. So, that, so to go back in the labor question, sorry, just for one yes, moment. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. No, no, don't apologize, please. Um, you're making important points. You remember the railway workers question of, was it two years ago already? A year and a half? I'm losing track of time in that. Um, the fact is that all he could have, all he had to do instead of cut a deal with the railway, instead of telling the railway workers, you got to go back to work and we're going to pass a law to make you go back to work before you actually go on strike, is he could have sat down with the, the railway owners, the bosses, and said, wait a minute, you are going to shut down Christmas you're willing to lock them out and shut down Christmas? Wait a minute. And then he could have said, you know what? I won't let that happen. I will pass an executive order. I will not pass. I will sign an executive order right, right. that nationalizes the railroads. And he could do it. That's legal. Of course he could do it. Yes, he, he could do so it. many things. When he doesn't do things, it's because he does not want to. He is not feckless. The Democrats aren't feckless. They know they know exactly how to fight when it's something they want to fight for. Yes. Yeah. Which yeah. is generally just basically rolling over and playing dead and letting the Republicans do whatever they want. Yeah, See, just- I think they prefer to not be the majority. I think they love to have fundraising off of yeah. But well, oh, huge for fundraising and you have no real responsibility. No one's even going to tell you you got to do anything because of the Republicans. Look, if you can't get something because of Mansion or the Parliamentarian, I mean, you. This is you're not. Then I'm sorry. And can you imagine like LBJ being like, "Yes, yeah, sorry, I really want to do that," but the Parliamentarian or Trump I mean, or George W. And the like, precedent was set in the first 100 days while everyone was focused on January 6th. You literally had the president of the United States say, and I quote, a $15 minimum wage is not possible because the parliamentarians said no. At that point, the entire presidency was thrown into the dumpster completely. And everything that has transpired since then has literally been rolling. If my president isn't more powerful than the parliamentarian, then then I just don't see why it even matters who I vote Uh, for. Four more years. Listen, if I was still Senate Majority Leader. I don't think Joe can win again. I really don't. You you know, there was a time when I liked Joe Biden. Uh, A lot. Wow, wait. When? When? Back in 19, it was in 1992 that he ran for president. And you mean he, before he wrote the crime bill? 1989. No, and he plagiarized the head of the British Labour Party. Oh, right, right, right. Seven or 88. And I thought, wasn't. this yeah. guy, I said, good, this guy has taste. I, I like <laughs> Harvey, before we go, um, 
I know you were good friends with Norman Lear. If there's anything you want to share on a po on a positive note, we end our first hour. You know, I've been, I'll tell you this, I've been talking to people and hoping that somebody will have me on a show so I can recall my time with Norman. Uh... I, I, it was out of the blue. He, he called me to work with him and I, it was just, uh, and I and I I never I don't want to write it down. I don't want to write a memoir about it. It wasn't that important in the world, but I'd like to speak aloud about it. So I'm hoping sometime in the next six months I can. Now that you um, follow me back, I'm gonna creep into your DMs and. and uh... <laughs> <laughs> I did follow you. I told you I followed. No, you. I know now. Yeah. Never now. That that might have been yeah. a really poor choice on your part that because now I'm gonna. St Where I mean, are it, it, he really. I, I actually think I discovered Norman's right. real key is, is that. He really knew how to set up a joke. Yeah. He, and he even enabled me to be the funny man between. Uh, <laughs> that's yeah. craft. Yeah. That's craft. Yeah. For a life well lived, somebody who truly was a trailblazer from a labor perspective. Yeah. I mean, he did things for people, especially in the 1970s, that were completely unheard of. And, you know, the fact that, he was able to do Sanford and Son and all of the family. Is, Maud had an abortion. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Listen, I just think it, it, listen, the, the way that they handled the attempted rape episode, I mean, I can't even imagine what that was like back in the day. Yeah. And, and it was so well. I wish you had brought this up 15 minutes ago. I'd love to have told you a story. No, it's okay. Listen, we got it. okay. The truth of the matter is, Harvey, and we, you know we would love to have you back, and we could definitely talk about it at a later date. That's an hour-long conversation. But Norman Lear was a very special person. And, you know, thank goodness um, he was getting his flowers, which is a, a rare thing in the world of entertainment, especially for you, Lila. You, you, you have been in that world, and obviously you live in its backyard. Um, People from all walks of life truly appreciated what that man meant. And, you know, we shouldn't let his memory go. And, yeah, if, yeah. If, if you do bring me back for the sake of having that conversation, bring back, our, bring back my new friend. She's out in California and she knows. That's right. Actually, my dear friend was his private yoga instructor. She was there several times a week with him. Really? Yeah. Oh, really? Up I, until, I mean, really just until he All right, now you get mad at me for not bringing this up. All right, but now we ago, can't. So but we'll have to have a whole other, we'll have to have a whole other discussion. But I'm glad that I was able to like introduce the two of you. I know, me too. Thank, Thank you. you. It Thank is you. a festivist miracle. It's a festivist it's a miracle. Festivist, <laughs> festivist miracle. Thanks for watching. If you want to support our mission to transform politics into service, please like this video, subscribe, follow us on social media, and consider joining our Patreon, where you'll get early access to our interviews, as well as other exclusive content. Links are in the description. Peace out.